Hi friends, welcome to another fun day visiting with our good friends at the Creative Arts Theater. Today we have an awesome program about storytelling with sound and all the fun things that we can do to tell stories and make them more one way or more another, depending on what kind of sounds we use. So we're very excited to see that. My name is Lisa. I'm with the Tampa Hillsborough County Public Library, and I'm joined today by my good friend, Meg. Hello. Hi, I'm Meg Heinstead. I'm the Artistic Supervisor with the City of Tampa's Creative Arts Theater. Thanks for joining us today. All right. So before we get diving into the actual activity and, and stuff that we're going to see here, we're going to give you a little fun book that you can check out uh, through the library. It is a book about musical instruments and all the different ones you might be able to make at home with various things that you have laying around the house. Uh, we're going to get into that a little bit later here, spoiler alert with our program. But if you want to check out a book to go along with that, you can get it from Hoopla. Uh, you might know with Hoopla, there are no waiting, no lines for that. You just find it on the app, uh, log in with your library card, and you'll be able to read that for free. All right, everyone, please enjoy our video, Storytelling with Sound. Hey there, I'm Kurt with Creative Arts Theater, the City of Tampa's professional theater company for young audiences. Today, we're going to make our own musical instruments and use them to tell a story. Are you ready to create some musical drama? Great, here we go. Music in theater. Music often sets the tone or mood for a movie or play. For example, the music or sound we hear affects how we feel and how we understand the story. Let's listen to two different pieces of music. Here's the first one. Okay, now the second. those two different pieces of music make you feel? The first piece of music really made me want to have a tea party, while the second song got me motivated as soon as those snaps started. That is what music can do for a story. Creating our instruments. First, let's create our musical instruments. All the things that you need can be easily found around the house. Today we're going to be making three instruments, lap harp, rain stick, and drums. Feel free to pause this video or come back to it if you need to get any supplies or you need a reminder on how to make a musical instrument. Let's make a lap harp. For this instrument, you'll need an empty tissue box and some different sizes of rubber bands. The different size rubber bands will create different notes when you put them around the box. If your tissue box has plastic where the tissue comes out, remove that to give your rubber bands and your fingers enough room to play. Put the rubber bands around the box going across the hole with a little space in between. Then strum. Next, let's make a rain stick. We're going to need rice, pipe cleaners, a paper grocery bag, and some rubber bands for the ends. You can also use markers or paint to decorate your rain stick. Now, cover one end of the tube with a piece of the paper grocery bag and secure it with a rubber band. Then, flip the tube over and put a few twisted pipe cleaners inside. Then, put some rice in the tube. About three tablespoons will do. Cover that end with a piece of the grocery bag and secure it with a rubber band. 
use the extra pipe cleaners to decorate the ends. Feel free to make your rain stick colorful with markers or paint. Now let's make drums. We will need empty cans, balloons, and rubber bands. First, have a grown-up empty some cans for you. Different sizes will give you different sounds. Ask for help because cans can be sharp. Next, we're going to cut off the neck of the balloon and stretch the body part over the open end of the can. Then, use a rubber band to hold the balloon in place. There are lots of options for you to use as drumsticks around the house. If you have two unsharpened pencils around, you can use those. The eraser ends will work well. Tap on the top part or tap the side to create different sounds. Play with various beat patterns or rhythms. You can even turn the can over. Music with a story. Now it's time to put our musical instruments to work. I'm going to tell you a story about a little boy everyone calls Little JJ, and his friend Susan, and a boy named Billy. You'll hear the story three different times. The first time there won't be any added sound. The other two times we'll play our musical instruments in different ways to see how it makes us feel. Are you ready? Now remember, the first time there won't be any musical instruments. Just listen. Little Jack Johnson loved jungle gyms. He loved them so much that all his friends called him Little JJ, short for Jungle Gym Jack. Little JJ was at the playground with his friend Susan. They slid down the slide and played on the swings. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Jack's next door neighbor Billy came to the playground. Billy climbed to the highest point of the jungle gym and stuck out his tongue at little JJ and Susan for not being able to make it to the top. Little JJ shouted, That's not very nice! Just as little JJ shouted, it started to rain. Little JJ and Susan hid under the jungle gym for shelter from the rain. The rain came down hard. So hard that Billy ran home. When the rain stopped, little JJ and Susan looked up and out came a rainbow. Right before it was time to go, little JJ climbed on top of the jungle gym. From then on, Susan told all their friends to call Jack Big JJ. The end. How did that make you feel? How did it sound to you? Did you like the story? Or did you feel that something was missing? Now let's try this again. And this time, we're going to play our musical instruments. Watch the corners of the screen to know when and what to play. For example, if you see the drums in this corner, play the drums. Or you might see a lap harp in this corner. Okay, have your musical instruments ready. Little Jack Johnson loved jungle gyms. He loved them so much that all his friends called him Little JJ, short for Jungle Jim Jack. Little JJ was at the playground with his friend Susan. They slid down the slide and played on the swings. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Jack's next door neighbor Billy came to the playground. Billy climbed to the highest point of the jungle gym and stuck out his tongue at Little JJ and Susan for not being able to make it to the top. Little JJ shouted, that's not very nice. Just as little JJ shouted, it started to rain. Little JJ and Susan hid under the jungle gym for shelter from the rain. The rain came down hard, so hard that Billy ran home. When the rain stopped, little JJ and Susan looked up and out came a rainbow. Right before it was time to go, little JJ climbed on top of the jungle gym. Then on, Susan told all their friends to call Jack Big JJ. The end. That was great! Did you feel like the musical instruments added to the story? How did you feel about the changes that you heard with the musical instruments? I thought there was a lot more there. 
but I was especially hopeful and eager to hear what happened to Jack at the end. Now, let's try it again, and this time do it a little differently. Pay attention to how the story makes you feel. Let's try. Little Jack Johnson loved jungle gyms. He loved them so much that all his friends called him Little JJ, short for Jungle Gym Jack. Little JJ was at the playground with his friend Susan. They slid down the slide and played on the swings. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Jack's next door neighbor Billy came to the playground. Billy climbed to the highest point of the jungle gym and stuck out his tongue at little JJ and Susan for not being able to make it to the top. Little JJ shouted, that's not very nice. Just as little JJ shouted, it started to rain. Little JJ and Susan hid under the jungle gym for shelter from the rain. The rain came down hard, so hard that Billy ran home. When the rain stopped, little JJ and Susan looked up and out came a rainbow. Right before it was time to go, little JJ climbed on top of the jungle gym. From then on, Susan told all their friends to call Jack Big JJ. The end. Wow! Did that version make a difference in how you felt about the story? What were the changes that you noticed? And how did they make you feel? Was the mood of the story changed? I thought that was certainly the fullest sounding story we'd heard. The story was more whimsical, and it certainly captured my attention. My ears are happy. I feel like this. Did you have as much fun as I did? I think we really added some musical magic to our story about little JJ. Now, you can use the instruments that you made to add musical drama to any story. Check out our tip sheet for instructions on how to make our instruments. And there's even a guide there for you to create your own story to use them with. Thanks for joining me here at Creative Arts Theater for some musical adventure. Stick around for some questions. Oh, that was so much fun, Miss Meg. I loved seeing how the how the whole mood of the story changed depending on what kind of rhythms we were using and and what kind of instruments we were using. That was the, I'm gonna play with that some at home. Maybe I'll have some sound effects for dinner time. Ooh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we have any questions here that uh, you might be able to help us answer. Absolutely. So, Oh, OK, so one question that I see here is, what is your favorite instrument? Oh, my favorite instrument. Gosh, that's a difficult question. You know what? I, I know really... what mine is. OK, what's yours? So my favorite instrument is my clapping hands. Uh, uh... I break my clapping hands when I go see shows so that I can let people the uh, the cast know how excited I am about what they're doing. I can tell them that they did a good job. And sometimes during the sing-along, I can use my clapping hands to find that rhythm. That's excellent. Yes, we can use our bodies to create rhythm and sound, our hands. We can even use our fingers to snap. And that creates a fun sound. And of course, we have our own voices that can mm. create fun clicks like Click, 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 click. All sorts of ways we can use our own bodies without having an instrument outside of ourselves. I love instruments too that you really don't need any training to use, like a tambourine or a maraca. They create fun, uh, rhythmic sounds that anyone can do um, without having to, you know, learning a new musical instrument like a flute or the piano. It takes a lot of time, but there are a lot of ways to make sound. Um, that anybody can pick up and just do right away. We can we can maybe use some pens for rhythm sticks. Absolutely, or two spoons. <laughs> Ooh. Spoons are fun. Uh, there's lots of ways to create sound. Um, and there's actually a whole type of music about found object instruments um, mm -hmm. where people create musical medleys with just items that they find 
um, either around the house or around their own community. Bucket drumming is its own art form. Uh, so there's lots of ways that, that we can create music just with items that we might have lying around the house. You know, you say bucket drums. That's one of my favorite things when I go to the Tampa Bay Lightning hockey games. There's always somebody outside playing the bucket drums afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you look on YouTube, obviously with a grown up, um, you'll find lots of incredible bucket drumming videos, as well as other videos about um, communities that have a musical group that makes their own instruments, for example, because instruments can be expensive sometimes. That's true. That's true. So it, sometimes it's good to get started with one that you find or that you make and, and then get some practice in. Absolutely. Yeah. See what you can do with it. That's fun. All right, let's see if we have any other questions. Ooh, how about can one rhythm mean two different things? So, okay, hmm. yes. Yeah. So, so if it's going very fast, then then maybe that's maybe that's exciting, like happy zoomies. Great, exciting, happy zoomies. It could also be something maybe a little bit um, action packed is about to happen too, which might not be like joyful, exciting, but you know, like the superhero is after the villain and he's gaining on them. And you know, something along those lines, as well as a fast rhythm can also be, we're having a party and we're so excited. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Ms. Meg. I think that's all the questions that we have on here. Let's okay. see what we have on our next slide. Ooh, so one more thing that we wanted to make sure that you saw is, I don't know if you know this, but uh, your parents can actually check out a ukulele kit from the library. So if, you're, if you've made your, your homemade uh, rubber band stringed instrument and you've gotten a lot of practice and maybe, maybe you're gonna start a family jam band, maybe, maybe one of your uh, folks can check out a ukulele kit and you can start the family band that way. Each one of those kits is gonna come up with a ukulele in a case. It has a, a book with instructions in it and even has a DVD that you can play along with it. Uh, it's got the tuner in there, everything that you might need to learn how to play the ukulele. Go to hcplc.org slash books slash ukulele and you can find how, how to check those out. So that is a ton of fun, yeah. All right. Well, I think that about wraps us up for this program. Thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna pop on over to this screen so that we can tell you a little bit more about if you have any questions, how to get in touch with us. You just go to hcplc.org slash contact or give us a call at 813-273-3652. If you wanna check out our summer reading programs, go to hcplc.org slash summer. And if you want to learn more about the Creative Arts Theater and the shows they might be having at the library or somewhere else near you, tampagov.net slash theater, or this other link below uh, will give you a shortcut to all the shows that are happening at the library near you. So check those out. We can't wait to see you back here. Thank you, Ms. Meg. Oh, thank you. Always so much fun.